what are the main classes of drugs used in myeloma? So in myeloma, we have um, several uh, key classes of uh, drugs. We have the uh, immunomodulatory drugs, and these are thalidomide, lenalidomide, and pomalidomide. We have proteasome inhibitors. These are bortezomib, uh, carfilzomib, and exasimib. Uh, an oral uh, proteasome inhibitor. We have, of course, steroids, which are commonly combined with these medications. Then we have monoclonal antibodies. These include elotuzumab uh, and daratumumab. And we also use uh, traditional chemotherapeutics, things like cyclophosphamide, uh, bendamustin, uh, melphalan. And then there are other drugs like HDAC inhibitors, histone deacetylase inhibitors. Uh, Panabinostat is the uh, approved class of drugs in that uh, space. Uh, and then there's investigational uh, agents uh, as well. Uh, there's actually a very broad range of those. And there, uh, some of the immune drugs uh, perhaps uh, hold the greatest promise and may be the next uh, uh, approvals uh, for myeloma. Uh, specifically, I'm talking about uh, CAR T cell therapies, uh, but there are also other similar, uh, somewhat similar drugs uh, called bispecifics, uh, which bring together uh, immune cells, T cells, uh, with uh, myeloma targets. Uh, for now, uh, the most uh, advanced there are BCMA uh, directed by specifics. In myeloma, we classically think of a variety of different classes of agents that we use in different combinations. We often don't combine more than one drug within each class, but we often take one drug from each class and combine it with a drug from another class to form our combinations of therapies. Some of these include the IMIDs. IMID is short for immunomodulatory drugs. This represents thalidomide, revlimid, and pomalis. These are all derivatives of thalidomide. They're all pills. We have proteasome inhibitors. There are three classes, three drugs within this class, bortezomib, carfilzomib, and exazomib. Uh, all cells create uh, garbage within the cell as part of its process. Myeloma cells make a lot of garbage, and this class of agents kind of stuffs up the garbage disposal system, causes the cancer cells to uh, explode and die. Uh, so it's a very uh, important class of drugs in myeloma. There are monoclonal antibodies, and these are generated immune therapies that target markers on the surfaces of the cancer cells. And these are not even chemotherapy drugs, but they specifically, through uh, immune mechanisms, target the cancer cells themselves. There's another class of agents called histone deacetylase inhibitors, drugs like panabinostat. Histones are these big proteins that DNA is wrapped around inside the cancer cells. And by themselves, these drugs don't do much, but they kind of open up the genetic material to allow other drugs to come in and kill the cancer cells. And then classical chemotherapy drugs like cytoxin, melphalan, very important. And steroids are actually, unfortunately, the double-edged sword of myeloma. Drugs like prednisone and dexamethasone, some people find them to be very helpful. Some people have some side effects from them as well. Since the recording of this video, there have been three additional FDA approvals for myeloma. Isatuximab, also known as Sarcleza, is a monoclonal antibody administered as an infusion. Selenexor, also known as Expovio, is a selective inhibitor of nuclear export, or SIN inhibitor, administered as an oral medication. And Sub-Q also known as Fasbro, which is a monoclonal antibody administered as a subcutaneous injection.